The next learning objective of this uh, module is the explanation of raster data model and spatial resolution. So a raster data model is like a matrix. The real world is represented by a uniform grid pattern. And then the grid pattern is stored in a computer in the form of a matrix of pixels. Or pixels is, a, is an abbreviation for picture elements. Um, and um, it kind of uh, reminds me of the movie Matrix where the, 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 the world is in, 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 in virtual, um, virtual setup. The whole world is in a computer and they call it the Matrix. And in, in, this case, in this data model also we are using Matrix to represent the real world. So a matrix is um, potentially rows and columns, and each pixel has a value that represents some characteristic surface on the ground. And each um, cell has its row and column value, but it corresponds to a longitude and latitude on the surface of the ground. So in a raster model, when we look at the reality, we divide the reality or surface into grids. And then each grid has some attribute of the surface. So for example, in this case, um, we have two um, layers. The first one is the land use, and the second one is the elevation. And so the grid, for each cell in the grid, we have a value of the land use and the value of the elevation. And both of these layers will correspond to two matrices in the computer. And the cell um, has um, 16 elevation and 8 land use matrix. So this 8 would correspond to some um, affiliation. So this 8 could be, for example, vegetation or um, in this case. Um, so a matrix is representing the raster data set um, or raster data model in, in a computer. And the spatial resolution of a raster data is potentially the size of the grid that we are using. So um, consider this surface on the ground and let's say we have a matrix that represents this surface. If we look at the single cell of this matrix, um, then this value correspond to a small area on the surface and if that area is one meter by one meter we say that the spatial resolution of the raster data is one meter um, and as the the size of the 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 grid cell increases um, the resolution starts to reduce and by that me what we mean is that we cannot resolve the features on the ground with larger cells but if we have smaller cell we can resolve the features and that's where the word resolution or spatial resolution comes from so if we look at the um, these four layers that have different resolutions at the bottom we have one meter resolution and at the top we have eight meters resolution and you can by inspection see that the high resolution has much more detail and we are able to re resolve many features on the ground whereas in a lower resolution um, the ability to resolve the ground features is reduced and so the spatial resolution is a characteristic of the raster data set that that uh, tells us how well we can resolve the features on the ground and it is not necessarily that always high resolution da data set is available for a certain area. It could be a low resolution data set depending upon um, the source of the data or if we are doing the ground survey and then interpolating the data, it also depends upon how much uh, resources we have to go and collect these uh, samples. So here is an example of the spatial resolution. This is a digital elevation model, uh, or DEM, um, at three spatial resolutions. And you can see that this is a, so each cell here, each value represent a 28 kilometer by 28 kilometer square on the surface. Whereas on this side, it's 250 kilometer by 
250 kilometers. And you can see as the resolution uh, reduces or becomes coarse, the details of the um, surface also become lesser and lesser uh, visible. And one thing that we need to um, be aware of that when we are looking at a pixel, then that pixel is representing a small square on the ground surface. And that ground surface is not necessarily a uniform, homogeneous um, uh, surface. It could have mixed information. Um, if we look at this example here, um, if we look, if we, if, if we, if we are only comparing land and water, then this, there, there are a couple of cells here, A, B, C, and D mark. If we look at A, it's 100% land. So this could be easily classified as land surface. But what about C, D, and B? They are called mixed pixels or mixels. And they are the type of pixels where we have some water and some land and these kind of mixed pixels are usually classified based upon the uh, majority rule or majority class so for example d will be considered land because most of it is land and b will be considered water because most of it is water now when we start re reducing the grid cell or in other words when we start increasing the spatial resolution the detail becomes more uh, clearer and in that case we get more and more pure pixels um, in this so for example if we take the D cell and then we double the resolution which means we reduce the grid size by half then you can see that there will be three pure pixels and only one mixed pixel and this is pretty much water the mixed pixel also now finally looking at the attribute data of a raster um, matrix. Um, if, if Let's say if this was a classified data and one is representing a certain surface on a certain feature on the ground, two is representing another feature, then the attribute of raster basically takes these pixels and provide the attributes. So one, two, three, and four are the identifiers of these um, four classes. And each one of these is gets a row in the attribute table. The first one is what is the value of the um, attribute. And the second one is how many pixels or how many cells are belong to that particular class. So one has nine pixels, one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on and so forth. All the other pixels have their count. Then the further description is provided by other attributes. So in this case, we have the type, which is that it's a forest land. Two, this is wetland. Three, these are croplands. And then four are the urban areas. Now, you should also see these gray cells that are no data. And no data usually has its own identifier. It could be minus 9999 or some arbitrary value that you assign to no data. And that means that for those cells in the matrix, we there is no data available. And there is no row for no data in the attribute table.